I'm getting a toothache. You're so sweet. Jesus Look at the ears. There we go. Have you finally figured out how that thing actually works? Yeah, but you can't shut it off. She's just going to talk for like days now. Women, am I right? Make me come over there. That's right. Don't make <laughs> Timing. That thing's well got timed. fucking time. Well timed, creepy love hippo. Well timed. Timing. Uh. What's the secret of comedy? How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this one is uh, a rattle. I'm getting oh, shut now. up. And if you forget what it is, it hopefully says hippo on its stomach. <laughs> it's kind of like the Care Bear of hippos. So, hi. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. It was like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Shoplifter Appreciation Day at my job today because we had every scammer, Hello. frauder, shoplifter you could imagine just ripping us off. It was awesome. Yeah. So, I've had kind of a long day. Yeah. It won't shut up. I know. That one just that one won't shut up for like three days now. She's just going to keep going. She's like, hey, I watch you when you're sleeping. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Shall we do? Maybe stalker hippo. Shall we do news? We shall do news. Okay. Let me adjust things. Okay. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, uh,. We've got a doozy of a set this week, I must say. Yes, I just used the word doozy, shut up. Um, well, well, that blew the surprise there. Uh, let me send you the link here. Um, because I'm not watching the stream. <laughs> from the department of nothing is hot in the Walmart. I sent you this. You did. Lots of people sent me this. They're like, this hey. This man doesn't know that there's nothing sexy at the Walmart. This man thinks there's lots of sexy at the Walmart, and, and he is wrong, friends. When he comes to Walmart, he Don't. gets aroused. Really? Did you have to put it that way? When he In comes your endo. A Louisiana man arrested yesterday for driving around a Walmart parking lot with his penis exposed, explain to cops that he, quote, gets aroused when visiting the retail giant. Travis Keene, 28, was busted on an obscenity charge and booked into the Okachita. Okachita? I can't read this. It's Louisiana, of course I can't read it. Parish Jail, where he's being held in lieu of $5,000 bail. Keene, pictured in his mugshot to the right, and... You'd never know. You'd walk down the street and you'd never know that this guy loves the Walmart. Um, Keen uh, was collared after witnesses reported to police that a man driving a Ford Taurus drove past him, quote, with his... I don't have to mention what kind of car. Who the fuck cares? And he's he had his dick out. Who cares? Who the fuck cares? Well, he... demographic thing? I, I don't care what he was driving. He was finger fucking a monkey in a Toyota Prius. <laughs> Care. Um, um, the, like on a donkey who was wearing a kimono. I'm not really interested. Uh, the witness who tailed the Ford as it drove around a Walmart po parking lot in Monroe told cops that when the suspect saw a female in the parking lot, he would stop and watch them. When officers confronted him, Keen reportedly stated he did have his penis out because of past experience he had at Walmart. Keen stated when he comes to Walmart, he gets aroused. Okay. Not okay. I want to break this down just a wee bit. Man, he doesn't even have to go into the Walmart to get aroused. Just like looking at the Walmart gets him hot. <sighs> Men have an adversarial relationship with their junk. Okay. At times, we need to be doing business stuff, like going to the bank, or shopping, or, I don't know, you know, 
just life. But sometimes our penis will say, hey, hi, how you doing? It's time. I want to do stuff. Let's do stuff. Let's you and me have fun. Let's do things. And it doesn't leave you alone. It's like a puppy. <laughs> this is all you need to know about men right here. I'm telling you, dude. I, no I lies. Care. No lies. Something new today. But I'm not sure I wanted to know. But, but, but go on. But most of us have the common sense to go, no, not now. And we either, you know, put a newspaper in front of ourselves and go on about our days, or, you know, just, we, we deal with life. Mm -hmm. If you have not mastered this skill, if you have whenever the little sergeant comes to attention, <laughs> don't leave the house! For God's sake! It's not well, okay! Well, you can't just not leave the house. I mean, if it's as bad as you say... Men would all be shut-ins. Well, some of us can control it. We can deal. We, 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 we don't... Just because everything's coming up penis, we don't, <laughs> feel, we don't feel the need to just start going, Oh, well, sorry. I was going to go... I was going to buy these nice ripe tomatoes, but unfortunately my penis has other plans, so I must indulge it now. We don't do that. Okay, I, I have... Wow, I'm out-talking Tara for once. I love I it. I no love it. I have perspective to offer on, on the care and maintenance of your penis, because I don't have <laughs> So... But Jesus. I, I'm just going to defer to your judgment and expertise on that one. Nobody write a fucking fanfic about me having a penis. <laughs> swear to God I was playing Ah, <laughs> uh, We have fun on enjoy it. it. We have fun on this show. We have fun. Um. So, are you okay? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I am okay. Vengeance is mine. I'm gonna have some Pepsi and recenter myself. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. I don't have a topic. <laughs> okay. Let's let's see here. Let's move on from what Here the Walmart does to your penis. Oh, oh God! Let's you want let's do some fine art, but let's do let's do that instead. Uh, police woman attacks art at DC museum again. Washington, a woman who attacked a painting at Washington's National Gallery of Art earlier this year, has struck again. Police say, this time lashing out against a Henry Matisse painting at the museum. <gasps> Susan oh, fuck her! <laughs> Susan Burns of Alexandria, Virginia, was arrested August 5th after police say she walked over to Matisse's 1919 painting, The Plumed Hat, and slammed the painting repeatedly against a wall, damaging its frame, but not the 2.5 million painting. Uh, the 53-year-old Burns was arrested in April for attacking an 80 million Paul, Paul Gargan? Gargan. 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 Uh, we're, we're froze French. on your... your, your we're, the screen froze on your, your expression there. Um, what else is new? Just this open mouth look of shock. It's awesome. Um, okay, Auntie Tara was an art major, kids. <laughs> fucking offends the shit out of me. Um, uh, for attacking the $80 million painting called Two Tahitian Women. As a condition of her release, she promised she would stay away from all art museums and art galleries in Washington. Latest incident. Everywhere! She was charged... Get the fuck out of art museums everywhere! <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I've set off terrorist buttons. Very angry. Very angry. Very angry. A little anger there. A little bit. Yeah, we got you in, like, a slideshow going on, dear, dear. I restarted my computer and everything. I don't know what the problem is. I have, like, no programs running. <sighs> I don't know. The internet sucks. Yeah, I don't, it worked fine last week. I did the yeah, same we're, thing. We're Let me just, reset my video. Yeah, let's reset the video and see if that works. Live, everyone! 
<laughs> there we go. Now you're fine. Okay, good. It's probably yes, fine. Yes, my rage broke my camera. I think that's what it is. <laughs> the power of my rage just made the camera go... Okay. I can understand media upsetting people. There have been many movies I wished I could physically choke. I've never tried, however... What? What? Okay, you're an art major. Is there anything offensive about these two paintings? At all? Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what they look like. Um, I, not as far as I know. So, I mean, it's just... Matisse, well, Matisse was a fauvist, and they did a lot of... They did, like, nudes, and because it, it was all about color and motion, but the plumed hat doesn't really sell... Like it probably has a lot of nudes in it. Sorry, I just I just had a picture of a woman in her head going, "I hate boobies," and just trying to smash the painting. No, because I don't know though, because Gauguin and Matisse didn't have much to do with each other, if I recall correctly. I think she just sucks rocks. <laughs> How to? And here's the other thing. That's my diagnosis. She if he. If you are, in fact, enraged by paintings, and you know you will be enraged and attack said painting, which is worth many millions of dollars, why the fuck do you keep going to museums? Well, presumably that's why. To fuck with the paintings. Yeah, but did they In think... which case, fuck a whole bowl of her. Well, did she think the guards are going to be like, she has a point. What point? I don't know, but she has one. Did she think they were just going to be okay with this? No, they don't eat, like, they take that shit serious. What was the plan? <sighs> Remember how you always say man crazy has no plans, but woman crazy has plans? You tell me the fucking plan here. I defy you. <laughs> come on, come up with one. Give me a plan. Give me a plan. Give me the plan for just going into a museum and fucking up priceless works of art. I challenge you. Reality show. No. Ah, ah, ah. She's going to be on a reality show. Not unless that reality show is called Mimi Goes to Pe Federal Pound Me in the Ass Prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're classy. We're classy. That's true. She could have been trying to recreate the Joker scene from Tim Burton's Batman, I suppose. But unless she had Jerry Hall with her, it doesn't count. <laughs> More just strange set from San Antonio, Texas. Woman arrested after lying in hallway naked. 44-year-old woman was arrested last week and charged with battering a law officer at a hotel. There was a cam con in Texas last weekend? Oh, damn. Snap. Tracy Lynn Karam of San Antonio, Texas was found naked and lying on the floor in a hallway of the Country Inn and Suites. Isn't just that a pink song? Country Inn and Suites? No, naked and lying on the floor. Really? <laughs> Try to keep up. Um, deputies reported the woman was highly intoxicated. No. Possibly on drugs. Deputies approached Karam. She began swinging her arms, according to the rest report. She hit one of the deputies in the chest. While the deputies tipped a handcuff her, she kicked the deputy in the shins. Karam was arrested, charged battery of a law officer, and violently resisting arrest. Both felony charges. You've been drunk before, yes? Yes. I've been drunk before. You tried to steal the Olympic torch. I've never been that drunk before. Having been that drunk, I have never been in a hotel and thought, you know what? My room's just too much work. I'm going to sleep here, and I'm uncomfortable, so naked is the better option. That's not what I've heard. But still, but how did what sequence of events led to this being, you know, considered well, the least bad option? What I want to know is, were her clothes like nearby? Like, was she stripping as she went down the hallway? <laughs> or did she go to her room, leave her clothes there, and then proceed to the hallway? Yeah, I don't want these to get dirty. <laughs> Never know where that hallway carpet's been. Imagine the people going back to their hotel rooms, just walking down the hall and be like, 
Um, honey, was our room before or after the naked lady? I I don't remember. I don't remember. Damn it. <laughs> she could have rolled over. She could be on the whole other side of the hall now. This is why you don't use naked ladies as landmarks. <laughs> Told you you should have used the ice machine. Yeah, because naked ladies tend to move around. Uh, only if you're doing it right. Well, no, not necessarily. <laughs> all away. True, true, true. All right, all right. Let's see. This one kind of makes me a little happy inside, and yet not. Because the first part of it is like, yay! And the second part is like, no. Watermelon explosion! Yay! Gallagher? Nude man investigated in Newcastle. Aww. Authorities on Sunday afternoon investigated unrelated reports of a watermelon exploding outside of a Newcastle pet shop with its remnants purportedly damaging a vehicle and striking a woman. Oh, unrelated. Well, that ruins all the fun. And of a, a nude man walking down Indiana 38 Northwestern Henry County. But you say it's unrelated. But I see there is a nexus of crazy going on here. There's some lost shit going on in there. The incident at the no, pet shop. <laughs> incident at the pet shop uh, was reported when authorities told him told when man told authorities a male subject blew up a watermelon with some sort of firework, pieces of melon causing a dent uh, in a man's Dodge Neon hood and striking his wife's face. Another witnesses, however, reported both the man and his wife were inside the pet shop and they all heard a loud boom outside. The investigating officer said the dent on the badly rusted vehicle appeared to have been there for a while. Okay, wait, not only wait. did somebody blow up a watermelon, but someone else said, hey, opportunity! Wait, I'm confused. Okay, so somebody blew up a watermelon uh -huh. in the parking lot of the pet shop, and then some other dude just happened to be there naked? No, no, no. The first guy claimed, oh, it hit my wife's face and my car and put that dent there. But he was actually inside the pet shop. See, there's a conspiracy and shit right, going on. Where does the new guy come in? The new guy's coming in. He's coming in. Um, About 1 p.m. the same afternoon, deputies were sent to the uh, 9000 block where a naked man was reported to be in the highway. Deputies found a new 28-year-old man from Greenfield. He was, quote, believed to have been ingesting bath salts. He was Stop taken to a class. <laughs> It's like this crazy, it's like a what-the-fuck nexus all on the same day. You have someone detonating a watermelon in front of a pet shop, someone else trying to lie about that shit to get money for their truck, and then, you know, as Sting once said, many miles away, walking down the street... And crawls to the surface of a dark Scottish parking lot. <laughs> Guys walking down the street naked on bath salts. This is synchronicity come to life, man. I don't think so. I, you don't see it. I do. I do. I do, man. I think... I think I my apathenia is man. catching and you've caught it. I also think you're making me dizzy with that thing you're doing with your hand. It's freaking me out! Like Brad Pitt and 12 Monkeys up in here, I tell you what. Um, here's a more straightforward story for us. You're, and uh, it doesn't say what this guy was on, but um, a mad. Oh, I like this beginning. A mad. He was a clean crook. Bethlehem shower trespasser. A man high on drugs broke into the Bethlehem home of three women early Thursday and was found taking a shower. Jared Fenner, 25, was ranting to police that he was in his own home when police arrested him. Uh, his home is two blocks away. Well, listen, there was no room at the inn. <laughs> and so he had to go see the three queens in Bethlehem. <laughs> but wait, this gets so much worse. Uh -oh. Um, when police arrived, they found a window broken. Uh, officers heard a man yelling from inside the home and located Fenner naked in the shower. Inside was somewhere that makes sense to be naked. Thank God for that. Oh. In the this make is how come. the making sense is about to take a nosedive inside uh -huh. the home. 
Fetter ranted about President Barack Obama and continued his rants at the police station saying he was the coolest expletive on earth. And I bit off my own um I bit my own umbilical cord off when I was born. Fetter was charged with criminal mischief and public drunkenness. You don't have teeth when you're born. Yeah, and people in the sure tailor. How hard you try, you can't bend in the way that would be necessary to bite anywhere near your own belly button. Everybody, feel free to try at home. Let me know how it goes. Contort yourselves and try to bite off your own belly button. I'm sure half of you have tried to suck your own dicks, your boys, and you're on the internet. So you you do can. know men. I, I do a little bit. I, I just I imagine waking up in the morning, you go to take a shower, and there's a guy sitting in your tub screaming about the president and trying to chew through an invisible umbilical cord. Well, no, he said he already chewed through his umbilical cord. Oh, of course. Born. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he just wanted them to know how awesome he was. <laughs> Because the police really care about that. I'm trying to figure out if that was some kind of pickup line, like, <laughs> hey, baby, I chewed through my own umbilical cord. <laughs> I don't see how that I would don't work. Think that would make me optimistic about what would happen to me in your care. No, no, no. I think that would make me run away very fast. Yeah, the cops, um, last time I checked, you can't smack talk your way out of an arrest. Hope springs eternal. Hope springs, yeah. Um, Last week that guy tried the I hate the cops. <laughs> didn't work too well for him. No. But someday you might get that rare cop with a serious like self-esteem disorder and he'll just be like, I know, I'm so sorry. You can go. Um... Okay, let's. I, we've got two more. Let's see. Oh dear. Oh dear. This one's got video. This is gonna. <laughs> well, it's kind of. It's kind of one of those really. I don't want it. Police chase shirtless man on forklift. Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth police recently got involved in a strange low speed chase with a forklift. Uh, I'm going to put up the uh, the video while I read this story because it's just, it's it's a beautiful thing. Um, here we go. Let's, let's get it up here on the screen. Um, he tried to kill me with a forklift. Okay, let's, let's, uh... Another oh my god, they're all singing it in caps lock. Yeah, they are. Let's let's bring that up here. Is that a thing? Is that from something? Yes, MST 3K. The guy didn't get much um, before. See, I didn't get Comedy Central back in the day, so I never watched that. Fort Worth, Fort Worth police recently got involved in a strange low-speed chase uh, with a forklift. The police say the suspect stole the equipment from a construction site. We're taking a trip to the city streets and on the highway. A witness videotaped the chase and posted on YouTube. He and his roommate had stopped for gas at a university drive when they saw the forklift go by. Uh, we passed him. The guy was standing up, jugging a beer, and threw it at the cop car behind him. Police finally arrested him. Oh my god! That's not safe! No. And there's more video. How do you even drive a forklift standing up? Isn't there a gas pedal? Yeah, I know that there is a gas pedal. Okay, there's more video. Let's let's have a look at this. Is that even possible? He's just a going. And he has got himself an entourage going on there. Look at that nonsense. I I don't know. I'm kind of I just you were saying about the man crazy? <laughs> well, clearly the goal here was to get the forklift from point A to point B. <laughs> and he was thirsty. Mm -hmm. And thought the cops might be thirsty too. Mm -hmm. You know, cop and his hard work. Mm -hmm. 
makes you thirsty, probably. I... To get it into your head that riding down the highway at a forklift while drinking and standing up... My dad used to drive an excavator. That's what he did for a living for a long time. While drinking and standing up? No, and I was going to say, that, and, and I'm pretty sure that if I called him up, he would in, in, ensure me that this is not proper construction vehicle. I've never gone near a construction vehicle, I can assure you the same damn thing. Oh, he used to let us ride in the big thing of the excavator, that was fun. But he was sober and wearing a shirt at the time. <laughs> I... <sighs> More stories of Tara's dad this week on RDA. I just really... Good lord, man. Of all the things to steal. Well, maybe he needed it for something. You don't know. You don't know his life. Don't judge. What the fuck? This... He's drunk and he don't... What, was he going to go buy a Nash shirt? Except his life choice, jo what, Josh. why did I almost call you John Nash? I don't even know where that came from. You have to accept his life choice. You have to respect his life choice. What the fuck is Josh? I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I know two people named Josh, and I haven't talked to either of them in weeks, so... I've had a long day. And that first story... Never gonna look at your male co-workers the same again, are you? I only have one male co-worker, luckily. Because I, all... I work in girly land, so... It's always you know. there, in the pants, lurking. He's also gay, so I'm not worried about... It's still there. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Nothing can stop the penis! Alright, now I just feel like I have to combat this with the Maud Lebowski vagina. <laughs> we need that, was a buff, that was a Buffy quote. I had a Buffy quote there. We need balance. Vagina, vagina, vagina. <sighs> and finally, this week... I believe, yep, Titusville, Florida. Oh, hey! Yeah. Police. Attorney challenged woman to naked sword duel. Is this the rare Kill Bill porno? A defense attorney from Titusville. Five point palm exploding dick technique? Is that what it was called in that version? <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. Tip your waitress. Try the veal. Defense attorney from Titusville was arrested this week after agents said he threatened to kill his girlfriend as he challenged her to a naked sword duel. Terry Lee Losey, 36... At least he's a defense attorney. Yeah, he doesn't need... Yeah, he's got his yeah, defense... he's all set. Uh, faces counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and domestic violence battery. The assault charges a third-degree fe felony punishable by five years in prison. According to the arrest affidavit, Losey and his living girlfriend were arguing early Wednesday morning about his drinking in excess. This is my shocked face. Yeah. Um, Losey then grabbed a mirror off a door and raised it up as if he were attempting to strike her. So the gr girlfriend grabbed the hook that the mirror had been hanging on and flung it toward Losi, who suffered a cut in the head. After showering, a new Losi handed a sheathed sword, a sheathed sword to his That's so, sword. So sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> a sheathed sword. And this is the one of those times when I really wish it was. <laughs> and I know that it's not. Handed the sword to his girlfriend and said, quote, you're going to need this. Losey then retrieved a larger sword, mine's bigger, pulled it from the sheath and told her, I'm What's going... always going to be about size? Told her, I'm Why going to kill you. Why was this penis week? Like, isn't it shark week, not dick week? <sighs> um, girlfriend told investigators that Losey left the house with the sword. He was still naked. Arrested to Thursday at Cape Canaveral Hospital. Um, Losey, who has officers in Rockledge, has represented clients in murder trials in a 2009 case in which a man was convicted of robbing a credit union and hiding the stolen cash in his prosthetic leg. See, now that's how you do crime. That's brilliant. No, you don't get naked and leave the house with a sword. All right, I just want to point out that this website has an ad on the side that misspells Connecticut. <laughs> hey! It's Connecticut. 
Yeah, that's that. That's probably one of those uh, localized ones that's done in mass and very stupid. No, but still, just this, this, this fucking guy. I. All right. There is no excuse to be having a naked sword fight with your girlfriend unless you are shooting a porn version of Kill Bill. I've had fights with my girlfriend, which I might actually watch. Sorry, go on. I've had fights with my girlfriend. I've had pretty I don't bad know where ones. This is going hope? No, I've had pretty bad ones in the past. Knockdown, dragout, screaming matches. Not actual knockdown, dragouts. I have never once thought the way to solve the way to solve whatever dispute was going on would involve sword play. Let alone naked sword play. And if you're a dude, since it's penis week, if you're a dude, yes. Why do you want naked plus swords in the same equation? Yes, that seems counterproductive because. We have one very le notable less part that can get lopped off. Women have a very notable lack of that one part that can get lopped off that you will miss. And, and tying it back to the first story, this would be one of those inopportune times for it to say, <laughs> I want to play! I, I'm just I saying. I just mentioned that, so I'm just going to assume that was not the case. Because I'd like to be able to sleep sometime this week and not figure this guy was walking around naked with a sword fully fucking erect. <laughs> I fucking love swords! I need, I need my little comforts where I can get them. You imagine right, being yeah, at the imagine bus... Imagine your boobs getting chopped off with a sword. Fine, but that's a lot more difficult. It, There's a it, lot yeah. more surface area to protruding surface area, the ratio is very different. No. I'm not getting into this any further. No, Joe just did a video on his website, you know, on, on uh, Angry, Go Angry Joe Show. He cut a watermelon in half. He really cut the fucking watermelon in half. It's not hard. It really isn't. So if you have a sword and you're naked and you're in a sword fight, you have failed this plan. Just completely failed. And I don't want, imagine standing at the bus stop, you're waiting to go to work, just hanging out, all of a sudden, walking down the street, naked guy with a sword. In New York City, that probably wouldn't phase a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, I'm not in New York City, but there are places where that would have more of an impact than others. In New York City, I'm sure people would just be like, oh, hey, whatever. I, I was about to say, well, what about? And then I realized, oh no, this is Florida. Mm. This probably this is like you know, yeah. Rhea said it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here it's just a Tuesday. You know, you're in Florida. A naked guy walks down the street with a sword. You're like, is it two thirty already? Wow, where does the time oh, go? Lunch. Shit. What the fuck, man. Oh, God. I should point out, there was some concern at the beginning of the show that I, I chopped off all my hair. A couple people PM'd me and were like, oh, my God. No, it, it's, just, it's just pulled up. It's, I still have it. Yeah. There it is. Lots of hair. Don't worry. I haven't gone Sinead O'Connor, though. I keep threatening to because it's falls hot up here in Connecticut. So, let, let's play What Did We Learn on the Show Tonight, Craig. Um. No, let's not. <laughs> let's not. We learned that uh, penises are always lurking and waiting to spring up um, at inopportune times. Um, <clears throat> Did we have to go back there? I was starting to recover. We learned that if you're going to get drunk and fall asleep in a hallway, put your fold your clothes neatly in your hotel room first because you don't know where that hallway's been. Um, we learned that the forklift is not the most expedient way to evade the police. Um, Someone learned that my angry eyes can kill. Yes, we did. We I like that, that lesson. We learned that. I 
I got to be the one doing the hurting this week. If only my angry eyes could make you stop talking about attack penises. <laughs> I'm happy. I got to be the one doing the hurting this week. How happy? Wait, wait. No, not that happy. You don't get to see hope till tomorrow. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs>